This is a Ram 1500. We're going to be programming a new smart key to this vehicle using the smart box and the Chrysler Security Gateway Bypass cable. The easiest spot to plug in on this car is right behind the passenger side kick panel. So to take that off, you just want to start at this end, grab it, start lifting it up, pop it up, and then pop it out. Alright, now you just want to get that piece out of your way. Now what we're looking for is this green connector back here. Alright, we're going to be plugging into the bottom row. The bottom row has three wires on it. You want to plug into the one in the middle, which is a white and blue wire, and the one on the right, which is a white and green wire. Uh, the one on the left is black. You don't need to plug anything into that. So I'm going to go ahead and get plugged in and then get a better shot for you. All right, I got my wires plugged in. I got the can L on the middle, white, blue, and the can H on the right, white, green. Now just make sure you slide them down as far as you can to make sure you're getting a good connection. Just take the blade of the bypass cable and slide it right down next to the existing wire. And you should be good to go. Now I'm going to show you a secondary location that is also an option that you could plug into. Alright, second place you can plug into on this vehicle. You could choose whichever one works better for you. It's right behind this panel here on the driver's side. So if you just take a flathead, get it under the corner here, and then this will pop off. All right. Now we're looking for those green wire connectors back there. Easiest way to get them off is to reach up from the bottom and pop it up. All right, popped off. Now, on the 1500, you can usually pull it right out the side here without too much issue. Has a little more wire slack than the larger models. All right, now that we've got it out, we're looking at this bottom row here. The white blue in the middle and the white green on the right. We're gonna wanna put our can L wire on the white blue in the middle and our can H wire on the white green on the right. Just take the blade of the connector, slide it right down next to the existing wire. I'm gonna go get it plugged in real quick for you. All right, got my wires plugged in. Can L in the middle, can H on the right. Now we're gonna go ahead and we can plug in our gateway bypass cable to the OBD port of the vehicle. All right, and then we can plug our smart box OBD cord into the end of the bypass cable. All right, now your smart box should have power. And we can go ahead and open the app and get logged in and select our vehicle. All right, we're all logged in, chose our vehicle. Remember that these new Ram trucks will be listed under the make of Ram and they will no longer be listed under Dodge. We'll be using CJD BP18 for the 1500. All right, it's off. Turn the hazards on. All right, first we're gonna read the pin code. All right. 52875. All right, program keyless. Yes. All right, we're going to need to use this top left corner here and hold the buttons facing the driver door. And we're going to push and hold the start button. Current number of keys to continue. Successful. Back out. Let's test our remote one more time. All right.
and it starts the engine. All right, so if you plugged in over here, putting it back together should be pretty easy. You're just gonna wanna pull out your wires. All right. And then you take your panel and set it back here. All right, so I'm gonna start by sliding it, sliding it back this way. And then the first thing you want to line up is these tabs back here with the holes behind it. It can be hard to see in the video, but click that in. And you can push it back here. And then line up this piece. And just snap it back down. Alright, that side's put back together. Now if you plugged in on the other side, I'll go show you that. Alright, if you're plugged in over here, just go ahead and pull your wires out. Alright, then you can tuck this back in there. To get it reset, usually the easiest way is to reach up from the bottom and get a hold of it. Okay. And you can just slide it back into place there. And then line up the tabs with their holes around the edge here. And then you can just start snapping it back in. Actually, I need to line up my holes a little better. There we go. There we go. And it's all put back together. And you can just unplug your machine. And you're good to go.